this game for me was just kind of a testament to what Sean McDermott and Bobby Babich are able to do as defensive minds. James Cook absolutely took over this game, the offensive line creating holes for him. And I think it's, I think this is the type of win that I get the most excited for because the NFL is difficult, right? Everybody's got great players. Everybody's got coaches that know what you want to do. They want to take that away. And you have to find different ways to be able to win. And it's why I'll never apologize for an ugly win. Just get the W. And you know, some weeks it's going to be your defense holds you up. Some weeks your offense is going to drag you along. And sometimes you're going to need Josh Allen to play hero ball. And in if if I gave you this just the score without any context to the game and I told you the Bills beat the Dolphins 31 to 10, you, you'd probably think Josh Allen went pretty ham in the game. He is 13 for 19, 139 yards and a touchdown, just like a very pedestrian game. This team was bolstered up by the defense, three turnovers, one of them being a pick six. And lots of performances from, you know, unexpected guys, guys that I would have had concerns about being on the field a couple weeks ago. And they're just kind of getting it done. Jamarcus Ingram, two interceptions, one of them being a pick six. Christian Benford getting an interception. Cam Lewis making a handful of plays. Damar Hamlin made some plays. It's just kind of like all of these positions that we are worried about. And, oh, not to mention, you know, we have Terrell Bernard gets hurt. Matt Milano's already out. We got Bale Inspector out there. Just all of these positions where I, I, I would have had concerns and, you know, expected these to maybe be like fatal flaws, especially early in the season. And... McDermott and Babbage are just getting it done on defense, so they deserve the props that they get right now. The the one note that I, you know, kind of starred, highlighted, all that was towards the tail end of the game, and it was it was nothing really serious. But I was really excited for it because we're talking, you know, week two of the season this high-powered Miami offense that gives everybody fits, division rival, you know, all all kinds of things to build this game up. You're in a primetime slot, and there was a play in the fourth quarter where I believe it was Austin Johnson, maybe it was Dwayne Carter, not sure. Um, but they're getting after the quarterback, get a quarterback hurry, quarterback hit, and... Down the field, the ball goes into triple coverage. Could have easily been, you know, intercepted on most sets of plays. But we had Mike Edwards in there, Cole Bishop, and Balen Spector breaking up this pass. And, you know, I know we're kind of garbage time, fourth quarter. Two is hurt at this point. And, you know, it is what it is. I, I feel like I'm talking about a preseason game. That's what gets me excited for it, right? Like, like we're in week two of the season, and we're sitting there in the fourth quarter, quarter with a comfortable enough lead that we're we're getting our backups and our young guys reps. And I know this isn't going to happen every week. Those are just valuable reps that most teams aren't going to be able to get their players. Like you're either the starter or you're not, and if you're not. Make sure you stay ready in case of injury. But Bills are out here. Mike Edwards, Cole Bishop, Bale Inspector, all coming together to break up a pass at the end of the game. And I, I thought that was a pretty fun layer to this. 